What's going on, Soul Tribe? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Tony, back here with your spiritual love messages here at Emperor's Light to Roll. Let's like the video and subscribe to the channel as we come into the reading. So, we are going to get into your love messages. The week is just starting out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed your weekend and your holidays. Right? We're all grateful for something. Let's see, uh, your current love energetics. Uh, single or otherwise, dating, married, whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, let's see what's headed towards you, uh, what your current uh, attraction is at this time. Who wants to communicate with you in the matters of the heart? Let's get into it. We're using the Mythic Goddess Tarot deck today to pull in messages. Let's see if this deck wants to speak. Highest messages of love and light for the collective today's spirit. What do they need to know in regards to love and romance? What's surrounding them, what's coming towards them, and what do they need to know in order to get clarification or to make their decision in regards to love? Who wants to communicate with the collective today? What would they have to say? Let's see. What is the car the cardo man is gonna relay? Let's get these energies primed. Okay, we do have jumpers. The Queen of Wands. <laughs> the Queen of Wands shows up as the first jumper, passion. So that's a creative leader, right? Someone very attractive, someone very magnetic. You got more jumpers. The Six of Wands. The Six of Swords. And the Queen of Swords. So you have a very interesting combination of cards at this time. You got the Queen of Wands with the Six of Wands. And you got the Queen of Swords with the Six of Swords. So again, this person is pretty popular and magnetic here. The person that's coming towards you. They're giving off Queen of Wands energy, which means they're super attractive, super confident. Right? They could be very sporty or athletic. Possibly an actor. Or they're very creative. They could be a content creator. I'm getting uh, Patreon and OnlyFans activity as well person could be an adventurous an, an adventurer okay an adventure seeker they're very sexually primed as well very sexually mature so that was your first jumper and then we have the six of wands movement here but it's also a standing ovation of 15 minutes of fame so this person that's coming towards you they may be um very popular or celebrity like again they may have some sort of a platform six of wands usually indicate some sort of a platform or people hoisting you up right again that standing ovation type energy it's also victory right getting some sort of a win so again this person is highly attractive very popular very magnetic ma very magnetic six of swords it's clarity and peace of mind to me sailing to smoother or calmer waters it's also movement so you could definitely have a mover or, or a shaker here the Queen of Swords, yeah. Libra energy, yeah. someone very um, discerning, someone very cool, calm, and collective. They're very intelligent, though. It's usually one of those, the quietest person in the room is the most dangerous person in the room type of situation here. You could be dealing with a therapist, a teacher, or a counselor, this person may be. Or there's some sort of an um, orator or an author. Again, it's giving me platform. They must be on social media. Literally, everyone has social media. Which reminds me, this person can be a model as well or a model citizen. Again, people value this person for their looks. And people value this person's words. So this person has a strong sacral chakra, solar plexus, and throat chakra. We didn't even get what's grounding the reading. The two of pentacles. Balancing resources. Mm-hmm. So people come to this person for balance or maybe to relax or something like that. We have generosity here with the Six of Pentacles. An exchange in energy or an exchange in resources. Right? Donating or whatever the case may be. Martyrism. Equal give and take. So you have three sixes here. Definitely self-care. So this person possibly, again, they're a therapist or they, they teach self-care. 
getting this person, yeah, divine feminine energy. This person has very, um, they have strong DNA. The Knight of Swords, they're a great communicator. They're coming towards you for some sort of a communication. Mm -hmm. Coming out on top of the Queen of Swords. This person may be a very uh, crafty or very creative communicator as well. We get the world card. So yeah, this person is a traveler or they may be known worldwide or this could be online activity, the World Wide Web, right? Again, they may be some sort of an Instagram or social media influencer, TikTok, whatever the case is, YouTube. Yeah, there's some sort of an influencer here. Yeah, they could also be looked at as some sort of a, I said teacher, they could be a guru or something like that. And yeah, possibly a world traveler. I don't really see this person standing around too much. The two of wands, yeah. A very ambitious individual. Mm -hmm. I'm being reminded of um, the Lightseer's Tarot, the two of wands, where she's staring out the window, ready to take action. Mm hmm with the globe and the minivan as a toy as she stares out the window right usually the two of wands is indicating making a choice between two decisions it could be passionate right like love um romance or um just you know traveling right being on the next destination it reminds me of carmen san diego <laughs> we have the world and the two of wands so yeah the two of wands could also be um i'm getting a strategy for whatever reason but it could be abstinence It says self-worth here. Also kinship as well. The two of wands can be seen as one of the uh, twin flame communication cards. It's, it's just one half of the 11-11, literally. <laughs> it's my someone's watching you from a distance card. And they're feeling very passionate about you. Looks like they wanting to communicate, Knight of Swords. They want to have a back and forth exchange with an intelligent one. Hmm nine of cups yeah i'm getting it's coming out on top of queen of swords so this person doesn't want to overpower you with their intellect or their words they don't want to be your teacher they want they want to have an equal give and take six of pentacles they want to have an equal uh conversation with you like a conversation with you on equal footing the nine of cups is wish fulfillment though self-fulfillment whatever the case may be mm -hmm. it's a lot of sixes here and then we have the Eight of Pentacles coming out on top of the Six of Pentacles. A very consistent and thorough individual. Some would say a perfectionist, right? But I think they're just very consistent. It's attainment, right? This person uh, possibly has worked hard for what they have or they, you know, they, their platform. They work hard for, you know, where they're at at this time in regards to their platform. Their creative endeavors. Since this is a love message, they're working hard to come towards you romantically. They wanted to provide you with some sort of an equal give and take. They may want to work with you, right? Collaborate with you or something like that. The King of Swords. So we have a divine counterpart showing up. Like I said, they want to work with you. I was going to say, it seems like this person wants to interview you or work with you on some sort of a platform here. We have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. The Knight of Swords is here as well. Yeah, this person sees you as like um again, they they um they see you guys being on like an equal level mentally, right? This is why they're attracted to you, or one of the reasons why they're attracted to you, right? As the man, whether you resonate as a king or queen, or if you're a feminine watching this, whether you resonate as the queen or king, this person just sees you as an intellectual equal. Yeah. They don't. They don't. They. They don't feel like they have to baby you or carry a conversation with you. So again, I'm guessing um, this person knows a little bit about you. You could possibly already know this person, or this person frequents you a lot. I'm not sure if you are. You have some sort of a platform. Like you could be a content creator yourself, and this person likes the Six of Swords. They like to frequent your um, text messages. They like to frequent your uh, content. The hanged man, yeah, enlightenment. They get some sort of an enlightenment from you. They get a, a different point of view or a third person perspective um, when they uh, visit you, or like when they speak to you, or when they visit your content or something like that. Yeah, this could be a highly spiritual individual, or again, someone that's seeking enlightenment. That's Piscean energy, big dreams. They have a lot of love for you. 
Mm-hmm. I can already tell. They're very passionate about you. Five of Cups. Disappointment or disapproval, regret, sadness. Mm -hmm. Coming out on top of the Two of Wands and the Six of Swords. They could be sad about the fact that they have to admit they, either that they're at a distance from you or that they have to make a choice to come towards you. I think it's more of that they're upset that, they, that there's distance between you guys because the Five of Cups comes out on top of Two of Wands, which is, <laughs> it's packing, getting ready to travel, right? Coming up with that plan to travel and six of swords is movement let's see what else nine of cups on the queen of swords we have the queen of pentacles a lot of queen of pentacles unifying energy so yeah they want to unify with you right it's mothering energy they want to they want to nature and nurture you right <laughs> right it's gonna be like an overbearing feminine a woman or overbearing man right they're very uh, they're very loyal but they're very guarded and protective of you mm -hmm. yeah she has a what is this a cheetah with the spots or a leopard or whatever the case may be yeah this person could be a shaman as well or a very natural individual they may like animals or animals like this person yeah he's almost giving me the sense that the animal is protecting her or she's protecting the animal like i said she, the overbearing nature this person really cares about you a lot <laughs> the knight of cups so we have the knight of cups and the knight of swords this person wants to send you poetry uh, they're possibly writing you poetry, right? This is my sweet nothings, the, the smooth talker. It's funny that they have a woman on this uh, version of the Knight of Cups. So a feminine smooth talker, right? <laughs> a singer or a dancer, right? Or a woman that sings or dances for her fellow or writes poetry for her fellow. Yeah, on top of the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of, of Pentacles. She, ooh. Now, some people, yeah, that's the, some people are inspired by heartbreak. Like they get up, they get out of a breakup. Or they go through a horrible breakup or divorce or something like that and they turn it and they write a book about it or whatever. They just they just say F relationships and they focus on building their finances or whatever it is, F, F, whatever it is that they want to build. This person. Oh, man, I dropped the message. I think they're inspired by you, though, whether they know you or not. Um, they're inspired like like a muse. Yeah. They're inspired uh, artistically, uh, poetically, and even uh, financially, like career-wise, uh, because of uh, the way that they view you or the way that they feel about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, descending numbers just past 1234. So this person's, like, they're, they're building up to something. I don't know. They're getting better and better by watching you. Right? Now, that's a good role model. Or you, yeah, you're a good role model. Mm-hmm. Do I want to pull additional messages here? Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Two of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. This person could be like a, a debater or arguer or something like that. Maybe this person has a career in, again, um, like uh, panels or something like that. Um, I mean, they could be a politician. We have the King and Queen of Swords here. The King of Swords is Aquarius, right? And we know that the King of Swords, they're usually involved in like contracts politics being a motivational speaker that sort of thing like ted talk vibes queen of swords is literally libra libra is the justice sign of the zodiac king of cups there's a lot of romance here mm -hmm. so you guys are meeting as the king and queen of cups very intellectual and then we have two queens the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles and we have the king of cups here so there's a lot of creativity there's a lot of um I'm getting a lot of hugging when I'm looking at this Queen of Pentacles, so I'm, I'm not sure if this is like you got a lot of natural vibes. And then the King of Cups here is the romance here. Again, them feeling very emotional about you. It's emotional um, intelligence, right? They're emotionally mature. Kindness, the King of Cups says here. They may live near water or like to be near water or something like that. The Tower card, Scorpio energy. King of Cups is Scorpio. And then we have Scorpio showing up in the Tower card destruction upheaval the breaking down of something mm -hmm. the funny part is she looks so calm and peaceful because we know destruction brings rebirth right destruction isn't isn't always bad think about those places that um the forest burned down and stuff like that like the places catch fire like like uh who has those fire uh storms and stuff like that like california and other places where it's like be out in the middle of nowhere and stuff just catches catches fire now, what the aboriginals and the natives used to do, right, before this whole 
400 years of the United States of America. And actually, they, uh, the United States learned this from the ab aboriginal black and brown and red people that was here before, right? You have to burn off a portion. It's like, uh, it's like um, sacrificing a little bit to save the majority. You have to burn off some of that old, bad, dry um, grass and leaves and stuff so that it doesn't... Um, it doesn't create a, a, a trail of uh, burning fire throughout the damn state. But uh, yeah, what else is here? The Page of Wands. Yeah, they're highly attracted to you. You make this, you give this person a lot of youthful energy. Mm -hmm. This could be the way that they're viewing you as well. I think they're very sexually charged towards you as well. It would make sense if that's your twin flame. And then, they, yeah, they see you as hope and wish fulfillment. Mm-hmm. They want to come in as a healer, the King of Cups, or they could view you that way. You guys may be able to heal each other. Well, teaching someone something is the same thing as healing them, right? You're you're healing them from ignorance, right? Or you're or you're healing them from loneliness, right? Or vice versa. This person may come in to heal you from this hangman state of mind, right? To bring some enlightenment to you, right? This is the stuck state. You don't want to be bored forever, right? Chicks say, I don't, I don't like boring people or even a dude. A dude doesn't... You, <laughs> must I say it again? Dudes don't like boring chicks. So come out of this boring state here and get shocked. <laughs> this tower is going to come in. Now, they're both water sign major arcana, Pisces and Scorpio, right? And we know that water signs are deeply intuitive and empathic psychics, right? Yeah. And usually love makes you do crazy things aka activating your empathic and intuitive nature and your psychic gifts right who know who's who knows more about you than your person right who knows more about your person than you yeah so very good energy here the highlight of the reading is you guys connecting on this intuitive very intelligent level having intelligent conversations <laughs> i'm picturing <laughs> Again, they could be a debater because what I'm getting in my in my head is two people having an intelligent conversation around a group of people. So I'm not sure if this is a panel or if this is just, you know, you guys are just having a a, um, a date or something like that because Knight of Cups is here. You guys could be going on a date or something like that. And then people are just um, enamored with you guys' conversation, right? And they may want to even interject or get into your conversation like, yep, that's a powerful couple there. major arcana yeah they like being around you they like visiting you if you guys don't live together you got three queens and a king a knight of cups and a knight of swords six of wands and nine of cups 69 wish fulfillment <laughs> let's see yeah I think that's it there were three major arcana. Yep. The tower, a shocking moment or a spiritual download. The hangman, enlightenment. You did see 666 in the reading, so self care, self healing, right? And also being self sacrificing. The hangman could just be a meditative or a hang up state, a pause, a time to rest, right? And then the world card. This person, perhaps they're on vacation or they want to go on vacation. Maybe they want to take you on a vacation. I'm getting. I was getting a cruise throughout the reading, especially when the um, with the six of swords, the six of wands, and the king of cups. Again, it seems like this person likes to be near beaches or something like that. Either they want to take you to a cruise or they want to go to. They want to take you to the beach or something like that. Mm, been a very positive reading. I see a lot of romance here. Additional messages. Let's get a break deck message for the watcher today. What does the collective need to know in regards to love, romance, and the actions that their person is wanting to take towards them? What is the energetic connection? Love messages, please and thank you, spirit. Looks like something's trying to jump out. Yeah, this is a very active individual. They have a lot of energy. The Page of Wands could also indicate them, maybe they're very youthful or, again, they have a lot of energy or um, vitality or something like that. Something that they're doing keeps them young. I don't know what it is. It's something creative or sexual, though. It keeps them young. 
it could be like a, a woman that <laughs> a woman whose counterpart is young right and sexual ex- sacred energy exchange sex <laughs> is keeping her young or it could be vice versa right there's like an older dude that um he's hanging out with a younger chick and like she's so young and vibrant that it's keeping him young or something like that all right well what's the break deck message the Page of Cups and the Ten of Swords. 2020 showing up on a timer. The Page of Cups, yeah, indicates a budding intuitive, right? Um, muse activity, right? Someone could have a crush on you. This could also be an apology or something like that. Or just someone wanting to offer you a cup, right? It's not coming in as the Ace of Cups, but they're wanting to offer you or present this cup to you. Again, maybe this person wants to go on a date and drink with you or something like that. The Ten of Swords is distractions. It says growth here, but it's <laughs> it's distractions. It's sleep, sleeplessness. It's gossip and rumors. It's mental tiredness and exhaustion. Mm-hmm. This person possibly thinks about you a lot, talks about you a lot, or dreams about you a lot. Or even daydreaming here with the hangman. They have you on the mind. They have you on their mind. They can't escape. It's it's not your fault. It's and it's not even their fault. It's just you're constantly on their mind here. We have authority here with the emperor and a magician. Mm. You may be dealing with a magician or an emperor that's headed towards you. The emperor is Aries Major Arcana. So a very straightforward individual, a very active individual. We saw that with the Queen of Wands showing up, right? Even the Six of Wands. Again, this person's very popular, or this part person has a position of power. Either people follow this person's lead right their actions right or they follow this person's words what this person says an authority figure here right and then a magician right everyone loves a good magician or a good magic trick right (laughs) people people that know me decent enough right they someone said this to me yesterday when's your when's your next great trick right (laughs) you just when you're when's your next disappearing act right because it's funny even going back to when i was younger like i would never show up to like family parties and events and stuff like that so it was just funny that someone mentioned that to me yesterday, a Taurus, too. They was like, oh, when's your next great disappearing act, right? And if you've been following my Instagram, you know that was one of my first uploads, the disappearing act. <laughs> but a magician, Gemini energy and Virgo energy. This person could be very thoughtful. Okay, that's what I'm getting, yeah. They're very thoughtful. Mm-hmm. They're very detail-oriented, right? They have a lot of willpower and they're very ambitious. This could be them manifesting this, or this could just be the two different personalities that you guys have, or this is how this person is coming towards you as an emperor magician or magician emperor. But yeah, that is what I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed the love messages. Like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.